Mid-span axis. Mid-span axis is a procedure in which fibers from a single buffer tube are accessed and spliced to an adjoining cable without cutting unused fibers in buffer tubes or disturbing remaining buffer tubes in cables. At the end of the session, you will be able to explain mid-span access procedure. The procedure for mid-span access cable preparation in the 96 and 288 fiber rock stick ribbon splice closure with ribbon armored cable is explained here. The tools required are loose buffer tube cable shaving tool, rotary cable slitter, fiber tube scorer, diagonal cutters, marker pen, and spiral protection tubes. The accessories required are isopropyl alcohol cleaning solution, lint-free wipes, loop rubber, Rockstech multi-diameter seal, Rockstech gel, and cable ties. Rockstech splice closure is designed with four round port and one oval port for the mid-span axis. It is equipped with six cassettes suitable to splice both loose tube and ribbon fiber cable by just changing the splice sleeve holder from the cassettes. It is arranged with one point earthing arrangement with holding, clamping and grounding in the closure. Prepare the cable in the following manner. Remove the outer sheath and the armor from the desired length that needs to be spliced. Before accessing the mid-span area, remove the buffer tube to access the fiber. There is a special slitting tool for this purpose. Make a small slit in the radial direction at two points. This tool is specially made for the mid-span axis. Now slit all the buffer tubes with this tool. Now the ribbon is ready to be accessed in the mid-span area. While accessing the mid-span area, make sure that the bending radius does not exceed 75 millimeters. Now insert the cable into the joint closure. Clamp the sheath, membrane and armor to the closure. Next, seal the cable. The loop rubber is used to seal the cable. A rock stick gel is used in order to arrest the movement of it. Using the rock stick multi-diameter seal, seal the cable. Between both the seals, there should be a gap of 0.1 to 1 millimeter. Apply the gel so that it does not stick to the lid part. Push the seal inside the port and tighten the screws. Now the cable is completely sealed. Now all the loose tubes are available inside the closure. Loose tube that needs to be spliced is taken to the cassette. The rest of the tubes should be split open so that the fiber is exposed. Wipe off the excess gel. Protect the fibers with the spiral protection tube. All the fibers should be protected with the spiral protection tube. They should be stored in the buffer basket and protected with cable tie clamps. The fiber which needs to be connected are spliced with splicing procedure. Cover the cassettes with the cassette cover. Tie it with velcro cover. Secure it inside the joint closure. With that, we have come to the end of the session. The key points are Mid-span access is a procedure in which fibers from a single buffer tube are accessed and spliced to an adjoining cable without cutting unused fibers in buffer tubes or disturbing remaining buffer tubes in cables. To the desired length of the cable, remove the outer sheath and armor of the cable. Remove the buffer tubes of the cable. Slit the tubes and protect the fibers which are not to be spliced with the protection tubes. Secure them in the buffer basket. Splice the required fiber and secure it in the cassette.